What's up everyone? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in my uh, first grow tent of the season. So we are doing a 38 different phenotype test run before the market start. And I wanted to talk about air exchange. So you can see the humidifiers going behind me. And the number one goal of fresh air exchange in a mushroom room or a mushroom tent like this is to keep the CO2 levels below a thousand ppm. So I have a, a CO2 meter that I used to dial in the air exchange in this room and essentially in order to keep the CO2 below that level you have to constantly exhaust out the air because mushrooms exhale carbon dioxide and they inhale oxygen just like humans do so it's kind of tricky to balance the volume of blocks that you can um, put in your room without exceeding that co2 level and you want to have really good control of your airflow in your grow room so behind me is a humidifier so it's an ultrasonic mister and that is constantly being fed by a reservoir and there's a UV light to sterilize the air that's flowing through that um, humidifier. So that air is outside the tent so it has a higher concentration of oxygen. So there's an inline fan right there that is constantly pulling in the air. Once the humidity drops below a certain level, um, this kicks on. There's a, a humidistat over here that's holding it at a roughly 93%. Um, and that's important during the pinning stages of all these mushrooms, even though this is our first, uh, first mated pair of the season and it's looking like a super healthy brown oyster. Um, but anyway, so after the air comes in, the mushrooms will consume it and they will exhale the CO2. Now CO2 is heavier than oxygen, so it's always a good idea to have your exhaust at the lower portion of your room. So this air will kind of come in and then it gets pulled down towards the floor and exhausts out using six inch inline fans. So this is 120 square feet, not that big. And I exchange my air every five minutes using two six inch exhausts. So that's kind of the, the idea of fresh air exchange. Keep your CO2 below a thousand ppms and you'll look or you'll end up with some beautiful oyster mushrooms like this. Um, if your CO2 is too high, then they're gonna be really long and stemmy. All right guys, I hope that makes sense. I get a lot of questions about fresh air exchange and that pretty much sums it up. It's kind of simple. You just wanna have clean air replacing the dirty air it's preferable to have um, your humidified clean air above the mushrooms so then it kind of pulls down along the mushrooms and is exhausted out near the floor please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these i've got my whole breeding project um, kind of filmed and ready to go we've also got a wild Colorado oyster coming in so as soon as we get the results I'm going to release these strains for springtime um, stay tuned for all of those updates and more mycology videos like these all right guys much love